In this video, I'm gonna show you a simple Python script that runs a denial of service attack or DOS attack against a Wi-Fi network. So once you run this Python script that I've written and linked below, which you can find on my GitHub page, it will basically destroy a Wi-Fi network. Now, before we get started, only use the script on networks that you personally own or have permission to attack. Please don't use this Python script that I'm gonna demonstrate in this video in a coffee shop Please don't use it on your parents or on a network that you don't have authorization to run the Python script against. So again, don't use this on your neighbor if they're playing loud music as an example, such as other people have done on YouTube. In this example, I'm attacking this Wi-Fi router. So the network that I'm gonna attack is this little TP-Link Wi-Fi router. In this example, I've got a Windows computer that's gonna be the client that we're gonna knock off the network. And then I'm running Kali or Kali Linux, if you prefer, within a virtual machine on my Mac. Now, for this attack to work, you need a Wi-Fi adapter such as this. This is an alpha network adapter. It supports both monitor and injection mode. So you don't have to use an external Wi-Fi adapter like this, but you need one that supports injection and monitor mode if you really wanna attack Wi-Fi networks. This alpha network adapter works really well. The disadvantage of this one is it only supports 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, not five gigahertz. So you could buy a more expensive adapter that supports both 2.4 and five, but this is a great Wi-Fi adapter to start with because Kali Linux automatically picks it up. Okay, so let me demonstrate the script and then I'll go through the script in more detail so that you can see how the script works. It's really well worth your time learning Python because it gives you a lot of options. Fantastic programming language. So on my Windows computer, I'll open up a command prompt and what I'll do here is ping Google with dash T so that the ping doesn't time out. So you can see the ping is continuing to run. And what I can do as an example, is go to a website such as Facebook. So I'm able to connect to the internet. Okay, so my ping is continuing, but what I'll do on Kali is open up a terminal. I'll make this slightly bigger. Okay, so iwconfig shows me that I have a Wi-Fi network connected. I'll disconnect this Wi-Fi adapter from my Mac and then I'll plug it back in again. I'm asked, do I wanna connect this to my Mac or to Linux? I'm gonna connect it to Linux. And once again, you can see that my Wi-Fi adapter is connected. It's currently in managed mode. Now, if you're not sure how to do that, have a look at this video where I show you how to install Kali on a Windows computer as an example. I also showed you in this video how to manually do what I'm demonstrating here, but just to make it more interesting, I've created a Python script that speeds things up and makes it a lot simpler. So on Kali, I'm gonna create a file called Wi-Fi DOS.py. Nano is a basic text editor. You could use VI if you prefer, but I'm basically creating a file called Wi-Fi DOS.py. This is my Python script, which is pre-written. So I've created this Python script and I've also put a lot of comments in the Python script so that you can see exactly what's happening. So unlike some other examples that I've found online, which are really complicated and don't have a lot of comments, I've put a lot of comments in this code. I'm really hoping that it makes it easier for you to learn Python and explains what this code is doing. So what I'll do at this point is simply copy that code and I'll paste it into Nano on Kali. Press Control X to exit, press Y to save, script is saved. So LS shows me that I've got my Wi-Fi DOS.py script. So if I run Python, and in this case, I'll run Python 3 and run that script. Now in this example, Kelly is remembering previous commands that I've typed. So I've simply used the right arrow key to complete the command. You'll probably have to manually type the command out, but Python 3, Wi-Fi DOS.py, you can see here that an error displays telling me that I need to run this as sudo. So sudo basically allows me to run the script with root privileges. So sudo python3 wifi dos.py. 
have to put my password in, so I'll put in my password of Kali, and it's now picked up the Wi-Fi adapter to use. Now, if I didn't have that Wi-Fi adapter connected, the script would tell me that I need to connect it. So in the script, I've added options such as if you're not running the script as sudo, the script will break. If no Wi-Fi adapter is connected, we're told to connect the Wi-Fi adapter. So I've tried to add various problems that you may encounter to the script to make sure that it runs successfully. In this example, I've only got one Wi-Fi adapter. So I'm gonna use a zero to select that Wi-Fi adapter. The script destroys any processes that could conflict with putting this adapter into monitor mode. You need an adapter once again that supports monitor mode like this uh, alpha adapter. So it kills any conflicting processes and then it puts the adapter into monitor mode and then it discovers the Wi-Fi networks around me. This is the Wi-Fi network that I want to attack. On my Windows computer, you can see that that's the network that the Windows computer is connected to. So I want to attack that Wi-Fi network. So I'm gonna press Control C and then use zero to select this Wi-Fi network and press Enter. What's happening now is deauthentication messages are being sent to the Wi-Fi adapter, which will stop this device from connecting to the internet. So you can see that pings are starting to time out. And if I open up another tab on my web browser and try and go to facebook.com, you'll notice that there's a problem with the network. If I go to another website, let's say google.com, the device is not able to connect to the internet because I'm basically deauthenticating all clients on this network. So as an example, if I try and play some music here from a website, nothing happens. The music can't play because I'm breaking this network. If I press Control C on my script to stop deauthentications, pings start working and back on my PC, I should hopefully be able to connect to various websites. So I can connect to Facebook, I can connect to Google, I can connect to LinkedIn. And let's try a different music file. The music starts playing. So if I run that script again, select my Wi-Fi adapter, select my Wi-Fi network that I wanna attack, start attacking the network, what you'll notice here on the pings is that they'll start to time out. So the pings time out while deauthentication messages are being sent to the Wi-Fi network. Now it is recommended that you attack a single client rather than just sending deauth messages to everyone on the Wi-Fi network. And I'll cover that in a separate video. So I'll show you how to adapt the script so that you can select an individual client and just attack that. So as an example, you may just wanna attack an iPhone or you may wanna just attack a music system. So you can attack a specific device on a Wi-Fi network. Now what's amazing about this is you don't have to know the password of the Wi-Fi network that you're attacking. You can attack any Wi-Fi network. As long as you're within the vicinity, in other words, you are seeing the Wi-Fi network, you can attack it. Now again, you don't have to be connected to the Wi-Fi network to run the denial of service attack against that Wi-Fi network. You simply have to be in the vicinity. You have to basically be able to see the Wi-Fi network in the air. So your Wi-Fi adapter has to be able to pick up that that Wi-Fi network is there. So again, if I run that script, these are the Wi-Fi networks that I'm currently seeing around me. So my Wi-Fi adapter can pick up these Wi-Fi networks. So if you're too far away from the Wi-Fi network, you wouldn't be able to run the attack, but as long as you're within the vicinity and can see it in the air, then you'll be able to attack it. You don't need to know the password of the Wi-Fi network. Now I'm hoping you're enjoying these types of videos. I'm hoping you're enjoying these kind of scripts. Python is a really powerful language. If you learn Python, you can do a lot of things, including stuff like this. Now with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, please like it. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and clicking on the bell to get notifications. I'm hoping to reach a million subs in this year, so please help me do that. Now please note, when I break the script by using Control C as an example, we get traceback messages. I've created two versions of the script. In this script, you can actually see the output of the commands that you're running. So we can see the deauth messages going to the access point. In a separate script, I'm using a sub-process so I'm pushing that to a sub-process so you don't see that output. 
But what it does allow me to do is to use a control break or control C on the Python script and do some clear up after the script is run. This first script doesn't do that, but I've put both scripts below this video. So you have two different versions of the Python script. The first script I think is the simplest to use, but if you wanna take it a little bit further, you can have a look at the second script as well. Now I'm gonna show you what the Python script does, but again, I've put a lot of comments in the Python script so that I don't have to make this video extremely long to explain every single line of code. Have a look at the Python script, which you can once again download using my GitHub link below. But as always, only use this kind of code for ethical hacking purposes. Only attack a network that you own or have permission to attack. We're importing a whole bunch of modules here, including subprocess, regular expressions, CSV, and others. What we're gonna do is create an empty list of Wi-Fi networks. And then we're going to do a test to see if a SSID is already in the list. So we are checking if an SSID already exists. If it doesn't exist in our list, we're going to add it. I've got a basic user interface. You could delete all of this if you don't want it. We are checking to see that the user is using sudo privileges. If not, we tell the user to run the program with sudo. We remove any CSV files before we run our script. We are breaking the script at the end, so we can't clear up the CSV files. You could do that using the second script that I've created and put below, but in this first script, it's kind of like a hard break of the script, so the CSV file remains there. So before we run the script again, we do a clear up of any CSV files. So we basically make a backup directory. If it already exists, we simply move the files to that directory, but if it doesn't exist, we create it and then move the files to that subdirectory. Then we check for the Wi-Fi interfaces. In our example, we're assuming that the Wi-Fi interfaces will be WLAN 0 or WLAN 1 or WLAN 2, etc. And then we're going to use a subprocess. So we're running an additional process to check the Wi-Fi interfaces using IW config. If a network adapter is not found, we tell the user to plug a network adapter in. But if it is found, then we ask them to select the relevant Wi-Fi network interface. You could have multiple Wi-Fi interfaces connected to Kali, so we ask the user to select one. We're making sure that they select one that actually exists. Then we store that in a variable for easy reference. We tell the user that we're gonna kill any conflicting processes. You need to do this when running the commands. In this video, I showed you how to manually run all these commands. So if you wanna see it step by step, then have a look at this video. But here we're basically taking that knowledge and putting it into a script, which makes it much easier. Rather than manually doing things over and over again, it's much better just to automate it using a script like this. So we kill the processes. We put the Wi-Fi network adapter into monitor mode. We use popen to check for Wi-Fi networks. So we're basically using error dump ng and we're gonna check the Wi-Fi networks running around us. That basically gives us this output here. So we can see the various Wi-Fi networks. So this is actually showing us the output. We clear the screen before printing the interfaces and then we display all that information. So we can see our SSID information. We create a nice pretty menu showing all that information. So basically with error dump ng, it puts the output to a CSV file and then we're reading that CSV file and then displaying it to the user. So this information is actually being displayed from a CSV file. Mon ng writes the information to a CSV file and then we display it here. So every second that's updated. When the user presses control C, we tell them to make a choice. So if I press control C here, I need to make a choice and the network that I wanna attack is this one. So I'm gonna select 14. If I did select some random number like 45, we would be told to do that again. So I select 14 and now the deauths are sent to the Wi-Fi network. So we ensure that it's a valid choice. If it's not, we ask them to try again. We make it easier to read the code by specifying the hack BSSID and the hack channel. We run this command to specify the channel that we're gonna hack on. So that was picked up previously when we saw the output of the Wi-Fi networks, we could determine the 
Wi-Fi channel. So we run M on NG to specify the channel and then we run air replay ng with the deauth command and this is unlimited deauth to just deauthenticate any clients on the network and that's what you can see here on the windows computer it's being deauthenticated from the wi-fi network and then the user needs to press control c to break the script so once again if i press control c there keyboard interrupt script ends now ls shows us that we've got the csv file so when we run the script again, that's gonna be moved to the backup directory so that the script can run without additional CSV files interfering with what we're trying to read. Okay, so that's the one script. The other script is very, very similar. The difference is at the end. At the end of the script, we're gonna use popen to deauthenticate clients. And now because we're doing that, we can still control the script. So we can print out that clients are being deauthenticated, press Control C to stop, and then when you press Control C, we tell the user that we're stopping monitoring mode. So we stop monitoring mode on the Wi-Fi adapter and we exit the script. Now you should actually, which I'll add here, is start the network services again, but this script allows you to do a proper cleanup. You could, if you like, reboot your virtual machine or your Kali Linux installation if you don't wanna do that, or just type the commands manually to start the services. So as an example, using the first script, the one that I've demonstrated, iwconfig shows me that the adapter is in monitor mode. So I wanna use this command, mmon ng stop wlan zero mon, and I need to do that as root to now put the Wi-Fi adapter into managed mode. I couldn't do that with the first script once again because I pressed Control C to break it and then the script ended. But in the second script, I did that. And what you can do as well is start Network Manager. Okay, so there you go. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please like this video and click on the bell to get notifications. I'm hoping to reach a million subs this year. So please help me do that. I'm David Bombal. Want to wish you all the very best.